Okay, everybody, this video is on the part two version of we're still on access validation. Uh, this video is we're going to talk about table and form validation rules. We're going to talk about default and required entries, and we're going to talk about built in validation controls. Okay, uh, the database management system. Uh, also it handles all the validation for you so why would you want to utilize or code your spend all the time coding your own customization your own validation routine so it, it, your, your your validation is already controlled by the database management system okay in the table uh, we have a uh, this is a form and so in the table let me go to the tables area all right here I have my table in the north windows say this field you don't want to make it null you just you want to require somebody's entry in that table in that field okay and that's fine because I do have it open now I'm not gonna make any changes here product name okay there is a little setting down here and it says a uh, validation rule now I have uh, just a sample thing here if you want to I could, I could type in uh, greater than or equal to or less than null or not equal to null and then enter a, uh, a value in the field or not equal to zero and enter a value greater than zero okay on the blog I do have a, a little chart that you could use uh, that that shows the validation rule, the test for, and the validation text. So if you have a number field uh, that needs to be between zero or less than or greater than 100, okay, uh, when a value is entered is zero or greater than 100, have this message pop up. Uh, the value entered must be either zero or over 100 okay so you're restricting the entries all right now uh, going on onwards so because the video doesn't permit a lengthy version I have a, uh, a form here oh mine I add before I leave here uh, the required field if you want to make something required go ahead and put it there and if you want to have a default value put it here like if you want to have a product name or if you don't want blank fields ever uh, make sure you put a default value there okay now on towards the on to our form the best way to have a, a validation is to uh, not allow a user to be to have something to select okay uh, on the form we can't anything applied to the table will be used by every form and report in the database anything applied to if you were put a uh, default or required or validation on the form it's only going to be applied to that particular form so if I go into design view and I right click on this and choose properties I only see I see a validation rule and a validation text here and I see also my default value and you could also put your put your make that field required but if you put it in the table it's already going to be required okay that's the advantage of putting in a table all right and uh, here I have uh, two selections the user could use could make if they select red, I have red. If this is useful in a reports type scenario, okay, you have a list of your reports here. And of course, I wouldn't care for with the names. I just put any any name on here. I could. The code behind this, okay. Let me show you that. Uh, I have a, the frame. I'm selecting the value of the frame. Everyone that's within the frame, every option within the frame, gets a value. Okay, case one, case two. If it's one, I make a selection of yes, of red, if two, yellow. Okay. 
and here at list box I can only select the items of the list box here I have a combo box I can only select the items of the combo box and this is an example of an ActiveX control when I when the the format originally loads it gets the act it gets the date of the of whatever the current date is if I click on these any of these gets the value of what I click on so that's a good way of limiting the user selection okay here's a bit of code and you can get the code at the blog at VBA how to dot com okay so as I click I get the, showing the value in the message box and on the current I have this now function I'm assigning to the the value of the of the calendar control all right thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned next time we're going to be talking about uh, validating strings really interesting stuff really interesting stuff again if you if you're interested in getting the code for this uh, come on out to VBA how to.com remember to rate or comment on this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel thank you so much and you have a yourself a really nice day